For the Overlander, life is all about adventure. We seek out new places to explore and fresh experiences to surround ourselves with. This year we wanted to do something completely different for our kids' spring break and go camping on a beach. We decided Padre Island National Seashore would be the perfect spot. And as with any adventure, there would be lessons learned and challenges to overcome. Thanks for taking this journey with us. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. That's Kara. With Ozark Overland Adventures. This is all the kids, all with Ozark Overland Adventures. <laughs> and we are headed to Padre Island National Seashore. For a Texas for, over, Overland Adventure. For a Texas Overland Adventure. <laughs> Otherwise known as Pins. If you're not familiar with Pins, it is a national park and it is 60 miles of beach that you can drive down and camp on anywhere except for the dunes you can't camp on the dunes and we are super excited we have never camped like this on the beach before and this is all new so we're gonna have a whole lot of fun chad and melissa are there yep. and with oklahoma yeah we've got chad and melissa there with um, oklahoma overland yep. and we're meeting frankie and his whole family there with overland rentals and gonna stay three days or so on the beach but first, but first we gotta go to Bucky's. Bucky's. It's amazing. It is a huge convenience store that's like on steroids. They sell fudge, they sell beaver nuggets, they sell brisket with pickles, they sell beef jerky, they sell all the slushies. They sell clothes, they sell gas, they sell propane. I don't know. What else you, you, can, you can buy it all at Bucky's. It is the coolest convenience store we've ever seen. It's pretty much just in Texas, but they're starting to expand. But every time we come to, to Texas, Arkansas. every time we come to Texas, Bucky's is a priority. That's basically where we like spend our most money on the trip. Yeah, that's where most of our <laughs> funds are probably going today. We are in Kara's Grand Cherokee. Yeah. With the rooftop tent. We've got the great pumpkin back there with the rooftop tent and of course inside it. And so then Sophie brought a tent, so we are gonna have a four bedroom, one bath, oceanfront property. Amazing. It's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yep. So we'll see you there. like a mall, but a convenience store mall. Did you see all that beef jerky? This place is incredible. Sticks too, I think the sticks are underneath this one. These are beaver nuggets. These things are incredible. All the beaver nuggets. You got a sandwich? And, ooh, white cheddar nuggets. What's that? Are those chips? Yeah. Ooh. ooh. No, they're for you. I'm gonna get my own. I'll get my own chips. Oh, ah, we're losing chips. Oh, these are good. The sea salt caramel ones. Those are so good. Barbecue sandwiches are amazing. Mm. How's your? It's good. Well, mm -hmm. we're improvising in the parking lot. They don't have anywhere to eat in there. How's all sandwiches? Good. How's your chicken? Good. Good. It's good. Oh, hey, buggy, right there.
Well, here's a quick update. It's after 7 o'clock. We've been here for a few hours. And it is so ridiculously windy. There's just no way. I mean, we talked about cooking dinner here and just the way all the wind was blowing, sand everywhere. We were going to be eating sand. And I know those of you that are experienced with 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 pins are like, man, that's just part of it. Like, yeah, but huh, we don't want it. So let me step out here. Yeah, it's uh, it's real windy. It's real beautiful. But Kara drove back to the to the campground to see if there's any availability and there was one site left and so we are getting that site they are almost back here i've already got everything packed away tent the annex all the stuff we've got as much sand up out, off of it as as possible and we're going to load up and head to that campground where there's less wind much less sand and then we will reevaluate tomorrow but we're all very hungry. We're gonna cook burgers and stuff tonight. But instead, we're gonna drop the camper off. We're going into town and we're going out to eat. So that's the plan. But uh, I think I see them coming down the beach right now. There they come. And we are ready. Here's the quick update. So we got to this campground last night and we just had a spot. I mean, we just, we found a spot to, to sleep basically. But then this spot opened up right here on the corner. And this spot is going to be awesome. Is it on the beach? No, but down there it's stupid windy and we're going to get sand all over us. But anyway, so this is our little glamping spot for the next couple days. There's. Sophie's little personal apartment. It's got a little table in there. Her bed over in the corner. She's as happy as can be with this thing. She's been in there taking pictures of her ocean view. Got our shower set up right there. There's that. We're gonna park Kara's Jeep right over there in that slot. Right there. Open the tent up this way. This is gonna be awesome. We're pretty happy about this. I mean, right there. It's gonna be good. Well, there is one major advantage to being at this campground, and that's that it doesn't hold a lot of people. So there's hardly anybody on this beach. Look at that. Hardly anybody that way. Hardly anybody that way. We've got this great big space all to ourselves. And the water is freezing. And they're crazy. Oh, that was good. and Kelsey.
gonna be delicious. I had a flip of the shield. <laughs> Cilantro and wind don't mix. That's cute. Let's try to keep it huddled. Ah! Yum. So what's the temperature at? Right now 89 degrees. That's on low. So it's warm? That's warm, yeah. It's not hot. Now for our evening entertainment, we're going to watch the first episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Can't see anybody. Sunrise that you just watched, and it has been stupid windy all night long. Didn't sleep really well, but that's that's one of the things that Padre is known for is the wind. Had to have 30, 40 miles an hour winds last night. I really expected to wake up and find camp just blown everywhere, but it's not. But check out Sophie's tent. She didn't get squished, but close. How'd you sleep? Horrible. Horrible? Could the wind blow your tent all over the place? And all the sound? Yeah. But our plan today is to get up everyone here in a little bit and drive the entire length of the beach, all 55 and a half miles of it. It's supposed to be 60, but they're doing a dredging project down there, so the last half miles is closed. But drive the whole length of the beach. I think we will finally find Frankie today and meet up with them and see what we can see. We know there's a spot about mile 30 called Big Shell Beach where there's a whole lot of large shells. Um, and we're gonna stop at different points off the way, along the way and let the kids play in the water and just make the day of it driving up and down the beach. So that's the plan today. Morning. How'd you sleep? Oh, you did? You slept good? Yeah. I thought you were gonna say like crap. No, oh, why? Wow. Because of the wind. I mean, it was very loud and that one thing, like, that was crazy. You like your you like your window view? Okay. Pretty nice. Yeah, I didn't sleep so hot. Oh really? Yeah, I kept waking up thinking how much of our camp was gonna be blown across the dunes. <laughs> picked up Frankie and Johnny and their families and now we're heading 20 miles down the beach to Big Shell Beach. 30 total though. 30 total yeah. but then we're gonna keep on going to the end but yeah right now we're heading our next stop is gonna be 20 miles down.
We're stopped at the just past the 30 mile marker. This is handsome. Interesting to drive in. Never driven in this before. I don't know that we'll go much farther than this. Just because you have to, it takes forever to drive down this far. And you're getting three, four miles per gallon the whole way. So I don't know what we're going to do. But the girls are in the water catching some waves. We got Frankie and Johnny with us. I don't honestly see a compelling reason to drive this far just to camp. Because the beaches are not quite as nice down this far. Unless you just absolutely have to be away from from anyone. As you can see there's there's some people camped just down there. And fishing. But it's been interesting just driving on the beach for the first time. It is a lot of fun. The waves are a lot bigger today. It's a lot cloudier and hazy today too. Post family pilgrimage. That's the name of that's the name of Frankie's YouTube channel. Post family pilgrimage. Check them out. Sophie is currently taking a shower with our boss. Shower system. Sophie, how's taking a shower at camp? At the beach camp. Has a very comfortable 111 degree water. <laughs> Y'all, I'm taking a shower at camp on the beach. It is so hot. Oh. If you don't have one of these boss hot water heater things, you gotta get one. This is this is amazing. Oh. Yep. I'm in the shower. And I made a video. You're welcome. What you doing, babe? Oh, trying to contain 40 miles an hour winds. <laughs> That's all. You know. So that we don't have this endless flapping all night. <laughs> so <laughs> Tonight, we're not sure if we're currently experiencing wind gusts. Gale, or gale force winds. Or if there's currently a hurricane. <laughs> but we do think that we're going to have to endure wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour tonight as a storm approaches tomorrow. Hopefully we will be out of here before any rain gets here. But uh, I don't think there will be a whole lot of sleeping because of all the wind. <laughs> Although there is a very nice breeze going from that window to this window. Which would be great, it's except great. for we're all sunburned and it like burns and it makes uh, you chilly too. Oh, I'm good right now. I feel perfectly happy, but yeah. Hopefully, there will be a video in the morning that we survived. Shook me all night long. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, as you can see, we are loaded up. And unfortunately, it's time to head home. Actually, it's time to head to Waco, but y'all don't get to see that part. So, our weekend, long weekend here at Padre Island National Seashore has been a lot of fun, a challenge at times, educational. Um, at a times of what we can do a learning experience so anyway we thank you so much for joining along on this uh, this family adventure and we hope to see you next time almost like subscribe all that sort of stuff what I said the almost, epic family road almost trip. that's copyrighted we can't use epic. Almost. almost epic family road trip they have a good channel we don't know them but we like them so 
It was almost an epic family road trip. It was epic for us. It was good. Um, anyway, <laughs> next weekend, it's currently Tuesday. On Friday, we're heading back to the Ozarks for another amazing weekend there. So be sure and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of that trip when that video uploads. But, but first, hey. But first, we're going to desand my vehicle. But first, we will desand all the things because there's sand in all the crannies and nicks and <laughs> cracks and crevices. Too much information. So, yeah. For real, though. Anyway, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate you. Bye. Bye. What you doing? You snacking? Snacking. <laughs> we call these dune deers. It seems like a very odd place for deer. But there's a bunch of them. This one's like five inches. <laughs> I can't put that on video. <laughs> Sorry. It's the family show.